with all the South Asian countries. Um, I'm a huge cricket fan, so completely welcome this, uh, this historic decision. Ma'am, what are the kind of discussions that were going on with the IOC, particularly with President Bach for the last few months, particularly because you have yourself been involved in cricket for the last 15 years? Well, there's always deliberations, discussions, positives, negatives that go with every discussion. But eventually, it's after two years, I think, the day has come where cricket has become an Olympic uh, sport. Ma'am, IOC has in India after 40, 40 years and cricket making a comeback to Olympics after 128, more than, uh, uh, you know, 100 years now. Uh, was it uh, planned, ma'am? I think it's just, you know, such a perfect time and a perfect place. We have the World Cup happening in India and... Um, the cricket decision also happening in India. So everything has come together in a very good way. Do you see this as India's moment in the global sporting journey, particularly with this session happening in India, now that cricket, where uh, in a country where cricket is absolutely considered a religion, that will also be a part of Olympics. How significant is it for India's sporting journey? I think it's a very, very significant, uh, significant move. I think we have 250 million school-going children and this is going to impact all their sporting dreams. Now children can dream of becoming a great sports person and represent India on the global stage and uh, I think it's going to really uh, change the cricket uh, the way people look at sports in India. Now, India has successfully um, hosted the IOC session. Uh, what do you have to say about India now bidding to host the Olympic Games itself? I'm so excited with whatever our Honorable Prime Minister said for the opening ceremony that he's interested in bidding for Youth Olympics in 2030 and Summer Olympics in uh, 36. So, it's a big announcement and we are all there cheering. <laughs>